Hey guys and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. For today I will be again using salt with painting and of course I will be using some watercolors and a little bit of the ink because you know why not I love ink and watercolor combination especially for the flowers so why not and also if you are not really sure how watercolors and salt work together I do have a video where I go over a few ways to use salt with watercolors so I will link it in the description you can check it out if you like and also I will place the link in the right corner again as if you would like to see it and learn a little bit more about that so i started with mixing my colors you can use here any colors you like we will be doing very very simple flowers and first i will start with one blue circle then i will be painting a couple of leaves and you can see shapes are very very simple i'm not gonna go overboard with any shapes or even if you are beginner you can definitely follow this so now while the paint is still wet i added some of the salt to my first circle also while the paint is still wet i'm adding a little bit of the blue to my leaves and also i will add a little bit of the yellow that's um yellow lake i believe the colors are from senelier watercolors and well, I guess, but any watercolors you have will do. As I said, this is definitely a beginner tutorial, beginner video, so you don't have to bother yourself with any particular uh, brand of colors. And now I mixed in a little bit of the yellow and some pink and added a touch of the blue that I used for the first circle because I do want all of my colors to work together. So I'm just mixing in each color combination. I'm using same colors because as I said, I do want them to match together nicely. And for this pink flower, Again, you can see quite simple circle, few petals, while the paint is still wet, I'm adding some salt again on top. And also I decided to add a little bit of the salt also to the leaves. Then a few splatters to paint in the next flower. And when I started this painting, I was actually thinking to do cards, to cut it in half and do two cards. But when I finished it, I liked it the way it was. So I decided I would not cut it, but if you want that, you can turn this into bookmarks or turn this into cards or just use this idea to paint cards. That's also fine. I did want to actually use salt with watercolors and show you how salt can also give a beautiful textures to your flowers. And there are just endless ideas, endless ways to use salt uh, with watercolors so I just wanted to give you a few I do have a little bit more of the videos uh, on my channel where you can see that use of salt and watercolors and then some splatters and afterwards I left it to dry completely but while that was drying I do wanted to share something with you if you do like my style of teaching but you really want more detailed or real-time instructions I'm super happy to tell you that I do have a new course on Artefacto School and it is a simple ink and watercolor floral illustrations course where I dive deep into details about different ways to use ink and watercolors when painting flowers and during the course that is I believe over five hours long we will go over 12 lessons, paint nine illustrations in step-by-step -step high quality videos. If you would like more info about the course and the pricing, please do check out the link I will place in the description box. And you know, guys, I would really love to see you there. And you know, why not just check it out? Maybe you'll find it interesting. Now that this is completely dry, I will remove the salt from my paint. You have to make sure that it's fully dry and I'm going to use ink. I'm going to use two inks. One is a little bit uh, thinner, 02, and one is a little bit thicker, 08, to do the doodling on my flowers. And again, you can just do any doodles you like. You don't have to do exactly the same. 
I will make that blue circle into a dandelion and then do some stems for my leaves and again little stamens from them for them also those veins actually they're not stamens they're waves veins and then go around my flowers this is just a very very thin ink and I'm doing basic uh, lines with that thinner ink and also for those flowers that are just dots small small flowers and now I've moved on to that thicker ink this is 08 as I said and I'm just going over the previous ink lines and just adding even a little bit more and you can see that I'm not doing one straight line I'm making my line sketchy wiggly and this is again fun illustration so you don't have to worry about any particular detail and a little bit more of the inks to the flowers just to add a little bit more of the black and you can see when you're just adding that ink it just comes to life everything comes to life so i really really do love this combination it's just as i said it gives you endless possibilities and you can just let loose and enjoy the process so also for the leaves i'm not trying to follow the shapes that i did with watercolors but i'm just going around it and drawing in all sorts of shapes and you don't even have to stay within the shapes stay uh, with only the shapes you made with watercolors you can add more of the sh more shapes with just ink a little bit more to that right flower a little bit more to the left flower to dandelion and a couple of more splatters also at the end i added a little bit more of the details to the lower part to that grass in the lower part just to make that stand out a little bit and if you decide to make this into a card you can write in any text you like and just make it your own and with these details i'm just finishing off these cards i hope you enjoyed this video you find it interesting and fun find maybe another idea that you can use for your project and if you do like this video please hit the like button share it comment that would really really help me a lot if you would comment and if you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel there are over, i believe 400 tutorials right now and i'm sure you will definitely find something for yourself and again thank you so much for watching and i hope i'll see you next time bye